You are watching Notepad. I'm your host, Ibrahim Sani. The conversation that we're going to have is actually an interesting one, largely because we are thinking about how children um, of all ages, from K-12 also all the way to the undergraduate to postgraduate, are trying to come ac get accustomed to uh, the education process during the MCO and, of course, slightly after the MCO or the recovery MCO period that we're going through right now. Um, for instance, my children, uh, three of them, they're in the K-12 education system. They are going through lessons every day, Monday to Fridays, um, from 8 o'clock until 1 or 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, my wife is also uh, a student. She's a postgraduate um, at UITM. She also has to deal with some of the education process uh, in her own time. And everybody's using technology. Everybody. Um, let's make no mistake about that. So right now, we're trying to understand the tools to get to that end point, which is the education itself. Joining me is Rata Hilmi, uh, an Apple Distinguished Educator. Of course, she's uh, also a lecturer from uh, UKM, the National University of uh, Malaysia. Um, here to discuss this with us and more, because he is, of course, dealing with this every day. That's his day job. Thank you, uh, Rata Hilmi, for taking yeah. time to sp spend with us. Let's understand a little bit better about what you do, uh, particularly in your role in UKM, also in your role as the Apple Distinguished Educator uh, program. Great. Thank you, uh, Mr. Ibrahim, for having me here at your show. All right. Uh, and so uh, I'm a, a senior lecturer at the Faculty of Education, uh, University of Kuala Malaysia, and also a uh, deputy director uh, at the Center for Teaching and Curriculum Development, uh, UKM. Um, so what we do there is we, uh, you know, uh, we uh, what we do there is we, you know, have the. You craft, uh, I guess. Yeah, you, yeah, uh, yeah. We, we do the uh, continuous uh, professional development uh -huh. for professors, for lecturers, and then uh, we train them to innovate in their teaching and learning practices um, at uh, higher education, especially at uh, UKM. And um, so, uh, as an Apple Distinguished Educator, uh, what we do is um, we are. Uh, th this is a program by Apple, and um, what the program does is it. You know, um, uh, from my experience, it uh, combines or it, uh, you know, we, we collaborate in uh, all ADEs around the world um, and have the, you know, expertise exchange and learning exchange, the innovations. Uh, what we do is um, we, uh, it, 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 it co collects the pioneers in, uh, you know, education, in learning innovation, um, in terms of primary, secondary, and higher ed. So uh, what this does is, I mean, we get to exchange ideas, we get to change innovations uh, from Japan, let's say, from, uh, you know, uh, Asia, from Europe, uh, from America, and then, um, oh, this is good. Uh, I think this should be uh, taken into my class. Mm. So th the, this, this, this is w what uh, the ADE program is all about, I think. And, yeah. of course, um, from the ADE program, at least in Malaysia, what mm. would be some of the best practices and some of the learnings that you can take uh, that you can share with us today in terms right. of best practices around the world that you've seen particularly during the lockdown period. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I think uh, the, 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 uh, what are the best practices are digital learning using iPads. Mm. So, um, uh, you know, what, what the ADEs around the world are doing is um, using the iPads uh, for, you know, empowering students, empowering teachers, because the iPad is a very, you know, uh, it, it makes, uh, you know, um, learning and teaching um, easy, seamless uh, content creation because uh, you know the problems with uh, teachers and educators is the scaredness of technology. So this goes, oh my God, I have the iPad. So what do I do? How do I do, do this? Mm. You know, in the in, in in the pandemic, we're forced to use uh, digital learning. We're mm. forced to because it was sidelined before, but now we are sort of forced. And um, you know, using this technology, um, it allows us to uh, focus on the content creation mm. because instead of you know oh this is so hard yeah. i'm so scared of technology so it allows us to you know compose music easily mm. create videos mm. create drawings easily and you know um, what i do in my trainings uh, and coaching is that i can teach you how to draw in 1 minute yeah. oh really yeah i can do music composition in 1 minute so i think um, that gives the confidence to teachers to empower this technology um, in their teaching and learning. Let's, let's face the facts. Um, students are technologically more savvy than, I guess, their teachers and parents. Um, and that has been the case. 
not just for today, but uh, <laughs> f forever. Yes. Uh, the thing about this is that uh, because of the MCO, that gap is now brought together even closer, actually. Uh, my experience is that, so I have three kids. All of them went through um, online learning for three months. Um, I have a year eight um, a child. Uh, he, she is um, 13, 14 this year. And uh, I have an eight-year-old. These mm -hmm. are the two ones that I'm focusing a little bit more because the youngest one is still in, in um, kindergarten. She's still doing a lot of tactile, cognitive um, uh, things uh, with her teacher, you know, via video uh, phone call. Um, but the two elder ones, mm -hmm. um, they were using a lot of apps uh, from Google Classroom to Google Meets, um, Zoom, before it was like, uh, you know, shunned by a lot of people. Um, and they were sharing uh, class notes and they were sharing all the, the other stuff online and they know already how to do this. The teachers, however, had a gap that they need to overcome and that was in March. By the time April came about, even the teachers are done already. Like basically, you know, er that, that gap has been closed. Sure. So April, May, June, and they're currently uh, you know, at home doing classes right now as we speak. Um, that gap has now moved on quite seamlessly. And that shows that uh, if you have the necessary tools, uh, you can actually close that gap and people can just con focus on content creation. Basically, I'm just underlining what you just said just now. Do you think that this is the way forward post-COVID? This is how classrooms should be. Should we now ditch you know, books uh, per se and now just move on to you know, iPads and all the other stuff uh, right now for schools? Mm. Okay, very interesting question. Um, and, you know, uh, it's, it's, uh, I like to bring the, the, this four-stage process. Mm. So it's called um, uh, storming, norming, forming, and performing. So this was by um, a, a Tuckerman uh, before Professor Tuckerman. So what is uh, the nor I mean the, the storming is you know the the pandemic. It's like oh my God we have to do online learning. I've never done this before. Okay. I've never touched technology. Yeah. And then you know um, when you get to norming, it's like okay this is yeah I can do this. Yeah. And then forming so okay now I I, I do the learning design. I use the the, the content creation. So it's, it seems seamless for me. And then after that we get the uh, performing. So I think. Um, of course, this is the way forward, and uh, you know, uh, in, in my experience, um, the, the, the what the iPad does is it changes. You know, what technology does it changes the teaching and learning environments to become more. You know, uh, you know, we have to make the students ready for the future skills. You know, the skills of tomorrow. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, now we have drones, for instance, right? So drones, drones. I mean, if you're if you want to become a cameraman, maybe um, in the future. Do you know how to pilot a drone? No, you can't. Yeah. If you want to become an engineer, engineer um, can you like uh, fly a drone to see the site? If you can't, no. Mm. So these are the skills. I mean, uh, that 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 you know uh, that are important for 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 tomorrow. So I think we have to equip our students, teachers, with this. And and uh, again, as you were saying uh, about the teachers, they have a huge gap. But uh, again, uh, I think um, when they overcome the storming into norming, done. Then, then we'll be performing. Yeah, done. Definitely. Done. That, that, that gap has been closed. <laughs> um, and you know, that um, before this was just mainly emails. But now you know, the teachers are now telling us, okay, you can have weekly digests. Parents can actually observe the kind of um, you know, um, teachings and all that. Uh, and uh, it's fun to see that uh, teachers and students are now closer together in terms of technology divide. We'll take a short break. When we come back, uh, we'll talk more with Dr. Elmi. Of course, we'll have a demo as well, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll, that happens after this break. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Thanks for staying on with us. I have with me Dr. Helmi of UKM. He is an Apple Distinguished Educator. We're here um, for a treat. Um, we're going to see Dr. Helmi doing a little bit of demo with us. Um, and this comes across that conversation that you guys had with the Ministry of Education um, uh, very recently, the webinar as well, as well as the recent webinar that you guys had um, with us uh, at Astronomy as well. Let's do a little bit of uh, a test drive, I suppose, uh, with what you can do with the iPad. True, true. Okay, thanks for that. So um, I'm just going to run through uh, some, some, some slides uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll go through, through that and I'll, I'll, I'll show the experience. So um, again, th this is me. So um, the, the one that uh, we want to show is um, everyone can create. Everyone can create. Teachers, educators, 
parents as well, you know, um, you know uh, the public. So uh, it's not about just, uh, you know, uh, teachers creating, but everybody is uh, creating. Yeah. So here, here in the webinar, it's here. So uh, you can have a, a, a look. Let's linger back. Let's linger back at that particular page <laughs> because that, that was a fun. Um, uh, we can just go back one oh, step. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. That, what okay. attracted me was this mm -hmm. was this uh, particular uh, slide because a lot of <laughs> things were discussed here with uh, uh, your, your panelists. It's quite illustrious. And what we've seen in this particular education webinar is that uh, the Ministry of Education is actually embracing uh, the kind of uh, acceptance and uh, the hurdles that needs to be overcome when you talk about uh, dealing with technology and education. Um, for your uh, view, what was the biggest thing that you learned from this particular webinar, attending this particular webinar? True. So, so um, you know, uh, from my opinion, so from my uh, experience, uh, I think this is a huge step. You know, uh, for the the uh, Malaysian uh, education system moving forward, um, you know, uh, combining uh, the the huge players um, in education, uh, uh, including Apple, and you know, this is the step forward. We, we want to go fourth industrial revolution. Yeah. So this is, this the, is way. the way. This is the way. Yeah. yeah. And and um, having platform uh, for uh, innovations to be shared, uh, you know, uh, you know, in, in the national level, I think is important. So this was a key moment. It was um, actually, it was. yeah. If I could highlight that, because I did watch it on um, YouTube uh, live. That was fun. All right. All right. Sorry. Um, uh, no, apologies no. for breaking the, 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 the flow. <laughs> no, no problem. Yeah. Uh, I love the the breaking. Yeah. yeah. So no problem. And and um, here in in the Lima, you have the um, Apple uh, teacher. A learning center so um, the teachers can go have a look at uh, everyone can create and everyone can code curriculum and what um, I experience is um, it is very easy to create content using this and um, you can just uh, download these books for free um, on the iPad and um, uh, you can have it here so uh, let me go one by one so let's have some fun with everyone can create music okay all right so um, and everyone can create music I'll just go to GarageBand for mm -hmm. a bit here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So GarageBand is a software on the iPad which you can uh, create content. All right, so this is actually created by my students. Um, uh, you know, uh, this is a photo sensi song mm -hmm. and um, they didn't have any uh, music, uh, you know, backgrounds mm -hmm. and they could create this in uh, two or three hours. Mm -hmm. So um, let's, let's see what they have can created. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. So um, let's pay uh, that along a bit. And um, what you see here is the, you know, the, 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 the teachers is flipping the um, content, you know, mm. flipping, flipping the music, mm. all right, and uh, making the, you know, uh, learning fun, mm -hmm. all right. And, you know, photosynthesis is it's like, oh my God, science is so boring, yeah, yeah. right. And then um, what the teachers did is they created a song um, in, in photosynthesis. Okay, let's. Let's hear that um, a bit, and um, we can have another. I'll just show you a demo of that. All right, okay. And you're saying this was created in just hours? In hours, in hours. So I'll just show you in a jiffy how you do that. So um, what you do is um, you create a new file, all right? Create a new file plus okay. that. And um, you have here the tracks and live loops. Okay. So um, go to live loops and then um, download at sound library so you can have uh, some free stuff here. Um, so, uh, and then uh, what you want to do is go to Electrofunk. Mm -hmm. And when you press that, um, you can actually have, you know, um, this, uh, this uh, what do you call this uh, stage. Mm. So here you have the instruments and you have the waves here. Mm -hmm. So um, tap on that and you know let that loop a bit mm -hmm. tap on that and then you will have tapping on that and you can sing about there you know photo photo <laughs> photo synthesis okay easy as that yeah. easy as that and everyone can you know everyone can create music yeah. just like that yeah. so this is what we want um you know to break the ice of technology it's like oh i don't i want to focus on creating content not on Oh, technology or oh, how do I connect this or oh, which software do I use yeah this is so hard so yeah. this is this is what we want in every uh, you know this is um, my experience with you know um, everyone uh, can create so okay yeah all right yeah. Um, all moving right. along let's yeah. let's do animations right it's okay. a big deal for uh, for broadcasting <laughs> everybody talks about animation all the time <laughs> okay yeah so everyone can create animations all right so um, here 
uh, we're using Keynote to uh, create animated line drawings. Okay. But uh, why animated line drawings? Is because we want to create a story. You know, um, you know the typical, here I can show you um, what I created. So this is, um, everything is, the sound is taken from GarageBand and um, we just did a bit of uh, uh, tracing. Actually, I don't know how to draw, but um, what, 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 what we want to emphasize here is actually it is um, easy to do uh, straight away. All right, uh, let me just show you another, another, uh, another example here. Let's mm. draw. And um, so here we have the mm -hmm. uh, Hang Tuah and Hang Jubat. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here you can see that we can do Wayang Gulit, see? In our homes. We don't have to go to Wayang Kulit anymore. And um, as you see there, I'm creating this, uh, you know, uh, uh, drawing this, but uh, actually it's not that hard. Yeah. All right, and, and let me just show you in a quick, in a quick while um, how to do that. All right, so let me take a picture of you straight away here. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Camera. All right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Live. Okie doke. Okie doke. Now we'll use that one. Okay, so use that photo. So what we want to do is tap on the paintbrush and put the opacity down a bit. Okay. Take your Apple Pencil or um, put on the drawing. Yeah. And what we want to do is just draw on here. So because I'm not an artist, yeah. but I can just draw here straight away. Okay, All right. I'll make you a cartoon in a bit. Okay, I hope my drawing is not that bad. Okay, so let's zoom in a bit. Do your glasses a bit here. And, ooh, okay. Here, let's have that one. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll have your you know, eyebrows. And here, a little bit there, you know. Have some fun there. And nose here. Okay, we'll have that mustache. And that smile, handsome smile there. Okay, a little bit there, here. And what we want to do is just scribble around. I'm scribbling. I really don't know how to draw, yeah. but just press done. What we want to do is just um, tap on the back, tap on the back, and delete that one. And voila, we have that one straight away. See, one minute. I don't, I don't even know how to draw. Let's animate that. <laughs> Not finished yet. <laughs> animate. Add build in, line draw. Voila, animation. Yeah. See? So everybody can do animation in a jiffy. Yeah. It's quick. That's literally one minute. That's literally one yeah. minute, see? And then you can color it, you know, straight away. Okay, let's let's try this some coloring. Um, okay, let's let's try that. Done. Um, edit drawing. And then you know you have the uh, watercolor here. So you can have some colors. Let's say here, you know, put this, uh, you know, let's 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 have that blueish, okay, something like that. Mm. And then done. And when we play, mm. what happens is Voila, coloring, mm. voila, see? Mm. Quick, mm. quick, and it's not hard. So this is what we want in our uh, creating content. So uh, if, if you know, teachers are scared, they won't be scared of this. Mm. And uh, let's say you want to add audio, just press plus, record audio, press record, hello, this is Mr. Ibrahim, handsome today. Stop, insert, and um, let's press animate here. Audio recording with build, play it a bit, and oh we no. have your drawing with my voice. Voila, straight away. Not an artist. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> right. Okay, so this is what we can do. And, um, you know, this one, what we can do is uh, we can um, export this. Let's try to export. Uh, okay, tapping three button here, export movie. So we'll have that in uh, movie. Okay, export. Ooh. Ooh, that'll be that'll be hard. Okay, let me let me just. Um, yeah, I know what you mean. We can just yeah. export just yeah, the yeah. slide, and it becomes yeah. like a movie itself. Yeah, and yeah, true, true. Fantastic. And then yeah, movie. So let's go to slide. Maybe slide twenty six to twenty nine. Uh, let's go to twenty six. And oops, you lazy. Okay, let's just export that, and um, it'll become a movie. And what we want to do is, I'll, I'll show you one last software. Maybe clips. All right. So this one, what I'm gonna do is. All right, let's, uh, uh, okay, let's create something new, create new. Okay, so what we can do here 
is this is a software straight away. All right, so I'm going to flip this camera and make you the artist here. All right, we're going to record. We're going to put the stickers here. And look at that. Voila, changing here a little bit. So you can make it like a you know, um, comic book. Let's try that one. And record. Say something. Hi, hello. You're in Notepad, and I'm happy for you to have, me, uh, to have you here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add, um, yeah. So, so yeah, we, we could do that and, you know, export this to save clip. And then we can um, we it straight in a movie. So, so this is very easy. And, um, you know, you can put it in, uh, you know, that, that keynote just now. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's quick, pretty easy. Everybody can do it. So, you know, um, this is what we want uh, uh, for, for our teachers and, and learners empowering them quickly in a minute in seconds so they can focus on the important part which is teaching and learning and not technology okay you know? uh okay. we'll take one more short break sure. before we come back and to see how the education process is being put in place with the greatest tool that we have right now uh don't go anywhere <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, you're watching Notepad. Uh, today we are uh, just happy to have uh, Dr. Helmi of UKM uh, here discussing with us uh, the Apple education process. Um, and of course, Dr. Helmi, of course, is an Apple distinguished educator. We've seen what the um, iPad can do. Um, let's talk about the processes in place. Uh, what would be some of the things that needs to be done um, by people like yourselves and also the Ministry of Education? Uh, to see how you can put this in the hands of teachers in Malaysia as soon as possible. <laughs> as soon as possible. Yeah. Okay. Um, from my opinion, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, selecting the uh, it's 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 uh, three things. So it's about um, uh, pedagogy, um, space, and technology. So first, uh, choosing the right technology is very important. And um, from my experience, the iPad is seamless for teachers. So I think it's, um, it's very easy uh, creating content just as, just as, uh, as I showed you. All right. And the uh, pedagogy has to be right. So um, pedagogy in place is different because um, before this, it was face-to-face, face-to-face teaching. Now we're in the era of um, remote learning, online learning, blended learning. So uh, uh, the uh, you know, learning design, the teaching design ha is different. Uh, so we have to uh, think about that, and we have space also. Space, you know, is 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 different. You know, space. Um, you know, uh, uh, let me give you an analogy. Um, so, so one analogy is is that um, let's say uh, you're going to school. You you ha uh, to go to school. You have to go um, on a car, right? So the car is the internet, and the technology. Okay, and uh, the school is actually the space. Where is the space? So the space is the Dilema platform. Yeah. You know that that is the space. You know, uh, and and um, with the technology and the right space, then you can create. Uh, you know, uh, teaching and learning to 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 uh, in this uh, so-called uh, pandemic era. So I think uh, those are the processes. But again, um, uh, in terms of content creation, I think um, teachers and learners have to you know uh, flip flip it. Okay, the the uh, conventional way is putting the theory first, then explanation, and then, um, you know, explanation, and then example. But what I do in my classes is put the example first. You know, photosynthesis, okay, go at the back of your uh, yard. Yeah. Take, take, take a picture of the, take a video of your tree. It's like, okay, let's go. Yeah. Make it engaging, yeah. right? And then explain, and then put the theory. Okay, now that is photosynthesis. This is this, oh, like that, teacher. Yeah. See? Because uh, what you do, what the, the you know the cliche is that is like the talking heads, like okay, today we're gonna learn about photosynthesis, and today uh, this is the theory one yeah. to three. Oh Forget about God. children; <laughs> and even adults can't focus, right? <laughs> so, With that kind of thing. Yeah. So I mean, uh, we have to change. You know, think differently. Change the way you do things. Um, this pandemic um, has allowed us to rethink, rethink 
reprocess, redesign, recreate, reevaluate how we teach, and uh, you know, move towards you know the future, move towards the fourth industrial revolution. You know, this is the time now. Now is the perfect time, I think, to to reevaluate and uh, you know, redesign our teaching and learning practices. Fantastic. I wish you all the best. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of parents out there that are rooting for you to actually make this work for the rest of the country, right? And that is the conversation that we want to have moving forward. But of course, seeing things live in example, you know, prior to starting this interview, we had, you know, we had, we had to troubleshoot a bit trying to get that kind of um, uh, demo up. But uh, as you can see, uh, you know, everything can be resolved if we try our best to solve that particular technological problem. That one has reduced that gap even further. Um, that's it from me for this particular episode. If you've missed any part of this uh, episode, just head on to astrowarning.com. Look for Notepad over there. You can also download these kind of episodes and watch it on your devices. Just download the Astrowarning app wherever you get the application. Um, and for now, Rotelmi, thanks very much for staying with us and for you guys. Until next time.